Guys, it's time to change your sales process and start closing more deals. But in order to do that, you have to learn the secrets of successful salespeople and take your business to the next level. But what if I told you I got my hands on a secret tool that all the top performing sales teams use to stay organized and on track? It's called the sales pipeline. So buckle up and roll the intro. What's up guys, it's Bobby. And of course we gotta start with the basics, right? What is a sales pipeline? Well, it's a visual representation or framework of a sales process from lead generation to closing a deal. It allows businesses to identify bottlenecks and areas for improvement in their sales process. It's also there to help salespeople stay organized and focus on closing deals. Cause I mean, <laughs> that's your job. A sales pipeline is like an ultra special way of doing business. It's like a train that takes you from where you are to where you want to go. So think about it like this. The first stop of the train is finding people who might want to buy your stuff and figuring out if they actually really want to buy from you. And then the next stop is showing them your stuff and trying to convince them to actually buy it. And if they like it, you get to close the deal and make a sale. That's a that's a train I want to be on. And when it comes to sales pipelines, there are several stages a prospect will go through before they actually become a customer. And these stages might vary depending on your business and sales processes and all that mumbo jumbo. But I'll give you a general idea of what they might look like so that way you can possibly make your own. So let's start with stage one of the sales pipeline, which is prospecting or lead generation. This is where you'll use a variety of tactics to identify potential customers and start reaching out to them. And once you've generated some leads, stage two is qualification. This is where you assess whether the prospect is a good fit for your business and if they have the budget and authority to make a purchase. And then we move on to stage three, which is the presentation or demo stage. This is where you'll showcase your product or service and try to convince the prospect that it's the right solution for their needs. And then of course you wanna start negotiating and you can call this stage four. This is where you'll discuss pricing, terms, and any other details related to the sale. And finally, assuming you and the prospect can come to an agreement, the last stage is closing the deal. This is the best stage, come on now guys, and you get a new customer. And of course, by understanding these basic stages and refining your approach at each one, you'll be well on your way to closing more deals and growing your business. But we're not done. So you may understand what a sales pipeline is now because you still have to build one. And so here's some steps you can follow. Number one, identify your target audience. Understand who your ideal customer is and understand their pain points. Number two, develop a sales process. Outline the steps needed to convert a prospect into a customer. Number three, generate leads. Use various tactics like email marketing, social media, and advertising to attract potential customers. Number four, qualify leads. Determine which leads are worth pursuing by analyzing factors like budget authority and need. Number five, create a sales presentation. You have to develop a compelling presentation or demo that highlights the benefits of your product or service and address the prospect's needs with that. Number six, negotiate terms. Work with the prospect to determine pricing terms and other details of the sale so that way everybody leaves happy with a smile on their face because we like, we like smiles. Seven, close the deal. Finalize the details of the sale and make sure both parties are satisfied. And then you can move on to the last step, which is analyze and optimize. Continuously analyze your pipeline. Always look for ways to optimize each day. Always look for ways to get better. Because guys, you'll never be perfect, but we can always strive to be the best we can be. Because guys, growing a sales pipeline requires a consistent effort to build brand awareness, establish trust with potential customers, and provide valuable solutions to their needs. And by following these steps that I've so graciously outlined for you, you can create a sales pipeline that helps you convert more leads into customers and grow your business. So guys, remember, building a successful sales pipeline takes time and effort and consistency. So be patient and persistent in your approach. And if you got some knowledge out of this video, let us know down in the comments, you know, go ahead and give us a little, a little puff on our shoulder. Let us know that we're doing good and make sure to also like and subscribe. And guys, always remember, it's not sales, it's science. Sorry guys, I don't know why that took me so long to say. I'ma just head out. See you guys. <laughs>